Prime Minister, and I welcome the opportunity to participate in this debate. Um, I support the proposals set out by Labour as amended by the Scottish Government. I think that the addition of empty homes and the importance of equitable distribution um, adds value to their motion. Although the cost of living crisis brings bad news for almost everyone, it's those on low to middle incomes for who it potentially poses uh, an unmanageable challenge and it is predicted to get worse. Inflation is now at a 40-year high, with the Office for National Statistics blaming higher food prices, particularly for everyday staples such as bread, cereal and meat, for the increase. And while higher earners may be able to absorb this cost, years of austerity and low income growth under Tory governments left those on the lowest earnings with little to no room to manoeuvre. Resolution Foundation reported that for those with the lowest earnings, disposable incomes increased by £3,456 between year 2000 and 2020, but for the richest, their income grew by £12,393. The supermarket ASD has commented today that some shoppers are setting £30 limit, thirty pound limits at checkouts and at petrol pumps, customers putting less in their baskets and switching to budget ranges. Presiding officer, while the doubling of the energy discount to £400 is not unwelcome, it falls short of mitigating price increases for those least able to afford their energy bills. And while second home will receive double payments, others are not eligible for any payments. I've been contacted by constituents who live on a park home estate, and due to having no direct utility account, they'll not receive any help with their energy bills. This is a concern which has not been addressed. And yet, the UK Chancellor has chosen to spend only half £30 billion that he has at his disposal. Over the last two years, the Scottish budget has fallen by 5.2%, with another 1% sustained until 2026. Despite this, the Scottish Government have made an investment of £770 million in cost of living support. We saw the Scottish Child Payment doubled in April, which will again rise by the end of the year. Together with the three Best Start grants and Best Start Food, will provide Scottish families with more than £10,000 by the time their first child turns six. <clears throat> Excuse me. Child Poverty Action Group has reported this combined value of Scottish Government policies, along with lower childcare costs, reduces the net cost of bringing up a child by up to 31% for low-income families providing some much-needed relief. What's more, to help address the current cost of living pressures and to also recognise the needs of families pre-school age, SNP-run North Ayrshire Council have agreed to increase the scheduled summer child bridging payment of £130 to £230. This is an additional one-off payment of £100 for families within my constituency and throughout North Ayrshire who already receive low-income free school meals and the child bridging payment. Presiding officer, there's no respite from the relentless rise in prices, some facing the terrifying reality of not being able to afford the basics and increasing numbers facing stark choices. It is Westminster who hold the most powers needed to tackle the cost of living crisis. It's time they flexed their fiscal powers and realised lower income households do not have the flexibility available to them that higher income households use to manage price increases. Thank you.